For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Nvidia, a company well regarded in the field of artificial intelligence, is widely considered a valuable stock for several compelling reasons. Nvidia has built a commanding presence within the artificial intelligence chip market, which continues to grow at a rapid pace. This success can be attributed largely to the strategic leadership of Chief Executive Officer Jensen Huang. Known for his forward-thinking approach, Huang has consistently managed to keep Nvidia ahead of its competition, solidifying its dominance in this emerging field. Despite its success, NVIDIA's significant size creates challenges in maintaining high percentage growth in vital areas such as revenue, earnings, and cash flows. As companies grow larger, their growth rate percentages naturally slow because higher revenues, profits, and cash flow volumes are needed to achieve the same rate of percentage increase as smaller companies. This trend benefits smaller firms as they typically find it easier to generate robust percentage growth. Palantir Technology serves as an excellent example of a smaller company within the artificial intelligence sector that is experiencing rapid expansion. With its smaller size, Palantir has the potential for substantial growth, and if its management team continues to make strong decisions and effectively execute its strategy, its stock could become a long-term success story, similar to Nvidia. One of the primary reasons behind Palantir's potential for growth lies in its unique business model. Operating as a software as a service provider, Palantir offers advanced artificial intelligence-driven software solutions over the cloud via subscription-based access. This model model allows Palantir to cater to a diverse range of clients, including various U.S. government agencies, allied nations governmental entities, and a wide array of commercial industries. Through its platforms, Palantir enables clients to harness the power of their data to boost efficiency and improve overall effectiveness, a service that is invaluable across many sectors. Initially, Palantir concentrated its efforts on supporting U.S. government agencies, particularly those involved in intelligence and defense operations. Its early dependence on government funding, which can be unpredictable and subject to fluctuations, led some investors to hesitate in purchasing shares. However, Palantir has recently made notable progress in building up its commercial business, allowing it to diversify its revenue sources beyond government contracts. In the latest third quarter report, Palantir revealed that government contracts accounted for 56% of its total revenue, while the remaining 44% was generated from its commercial operations. This balanced revenue mix highlights the growth of Palantir's commercial side and indicates a lessening dependency on government spending. Additionally, unlike many technology companies that are relatively new to the public market, Palantir is already turning a profit, setting it apart from a number of its tech peers. For context, NVIDIA currently holds a market capitalization of approximately $3.6 trillion as of November 11th. This valuation places NVIDIA's market cap at roughly 26 times the size of Palantir's. However, Palantir's business model, which is focused on generating recurring revenue through subscriptions, offers several significant advantages. Companies that rely on subscription-based revenue models often experience high operating and profit margins. These types of companies tend to generate strong cash flow margins from operations and produce substantial free cash flow margins as well. The recurring nature of revenue in this model provides a level of stability and predictability that is appealing to investors as it reduces the fluctuations typically associated with non-recurring sales. Furthermore, because Palantir's offerings are software-based, they require relatively low capital expenditures compared to companies that produce physical goods. Since Palantir's products do not involve the sale of tangible items, the company does not need to invest heavily in manufacturing facilities. This is especially advantageous for a software as a service company as it reduces the capital intensive burden of traditional manufacturing. As long as Palantir continues to satisfy its existing clients, the company can rely on a significant portion of its customers to renew their subscriptions year after year. In addition, some clients may even choose to increase their spending on Palantir services, a benefit that enhances the company's revenue base without requiring the acquisition of new customers, which can be both costly and time consuming. Palantir's efforts to retain and please its current customers are apparent in its performance metrics. During the third quarter, Palantir achieved a net dollar retention rate of 118%, as reported by Chief Financial Officer Dave Glazer in the company's third quarter earnings call. This metric indicates that the company's existing customers from the previous year increased their spending on Palantir's products by an average of 18% over the past year. This demonstrates Palantir's success in maintaining strong relationships with its clients and points to its capacity for organic 
revenue growth through increased customer spending. Furthermore, Palantir continues to expand its reach by adding new clients to its portfolio, which supports the company's long-term growth trajectory. To provide a point of comparison, we can look at Microsoft, a well-established software company renowned for its high profit margins and robust cash flow generation. Microsoft serves as a challenging benchmark, given its established market presence and financial strength, yet Palantir compares favorably in several aspects, showcasing its potential as a viable competitor within the technology sector. One detail worth noting is that Microsoft's free cash flow margin is noticeably lower than its operating cash flow margin, a discrepancy that results from Microsoft's high capital expenditures. Specifically, Microsoft must invest heavily in data centers to maintain its competitive position in the cloud computing market. This significant expense is a necessity for Microsoft to keep up with demand and innovation in its cloud services. For long-term investors who are considering a stock purchase, one of the most important initial steps is to analyze the company's business model thoroughly. A business model reveals a great deal about how a company generates its revenue and its overall potential for sustained growth. By understanding how a company earns its income, investors can assess whether it possesses competitive advantages and whether the target market offers ample growth opportunities. Factors such as these are crucial when determining the potential size of the market that a company serves as well as the company's position relative to possible competitors. While some companies with average or merely satisfactory business models may experience short-term success, their stock is unlikely to become a standout performer over the long haul. Long-term winners typically exhibit strong business fundamentals, consistent revenue generation, and solid customer retention, all of which contribute to lasting growth and stability. Palantir's subscription-driven business model, high customer retention rate, and expanding commercial sector make it a strong candidate for long-term investors seeking companies with high growth potential. In a summary, NVIDIA, a leader in artificial intelligence, remains a popular investment due to its dominance in the AI chip sector and the strong leadership of CEO Jensen Huang. However, its large size makes percentage-based growth challenging, opening opportunities for smaller, fast-growing companies like Palantir Technologies. Unlike many newly public tech companies, Palantir is already profitable and benefits from a subscription-based model, which provides recurring revenue and high customer retention. Palantir's net dollar retention rate hit 118% in the recent quarter, indicating increased spending by existing clients. With strong fundamentals and a promising growth trajectory, Palantir is well-positioned as a long-term investment opportunity in the AI space. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.